Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the Extreme Z Awakening details for LR, Goku, and Frieza are officially here. Um, I was asleep when they first came out, so my apologies for the lateness, but yeah, let's check it out. Now, uh, we're going to start here with the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details first, and then go over to the EZA details so you guys can compare the two, right? So starting with the current leader skill, it's representatives of Universe 7, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%, or tech types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. 12 key super causes colossal damage and lowers attack, and 18 key super causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 77% when attacking, plus an additional attack plus 77% when performing an ultra super attack, plus an additional attack plus 77% when the target enemy is in attack down status. All right, now moving over to the Extreme Z Awakening now, which is still crazy to me, man. Like I just, it, it, it's all here. It's official, it's confirmed. We got the details and it still blows my mind that these guys are actually getting an Extreme Z Awakening. It's just so damn early, you know? Like, we still got so many 120 leads, still so many category leads. I know I've been through this a lot. I'm sure you guys are tired of me saying this, but I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this reality, you know? Anyways, Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill. Representatives of Universe 7, Category Q plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 177%, identical, but they give Tech Types, now Q plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120%, so that's up from 90%. The 12 key Super raises Defense for one turn, causes Colossal Damage, and lowers Attack. 18 key Super raises Defense for one turn, and causes Mega Colossal Damage, and lowers Attack and defense. So main difference here is that both the 12 key and the 18 key supers will now raise defense and obviously defense was a uh, major issue for this unit before so that is definitely a very very welcome addition for sure. And uh, the passive now is attack and defense plus 77% when attacking plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% when performing an ultra super attack plus an additional attack plus 77% when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status, is stunned, or the target enemy super attack is sealed. And then key plus one at the start of each turn up to plus seven. So um, yeah, major differences here of course is that he gets uh, attack and defense plus 77% as opposed to just attack before the extremes the awakening. And then uh, you also have more conditions that allow them to get this additional attack plus 77%. Instead of just being uh, attacked down for the enemy, as long as they're attacked down or defense down or stunned or sealed, you'll get this additional attack plus 77%. And then they're also much more self-sufficient for key now. They get up to key plus seven um, after seven appearances, but obviously it's cumulative over the course of the event, right? Um, I mean, it's an... It's a great Extreme Z Awakening. It's a unit that I, like I said, I, I don't think they needed an EZA. I don't think it was necessary to give them an Extreme Z Awakening this early. But um, I pretty much called, I mean, the Extreme Z Awakening details, right? Like, if you guys watched my video from, like, two days ago, when we first heard about this EZA happening, I was like, if this is real, if this is legit going down, then the only things I can see them doing is making the leader skill slightly better on the tech side. I said they weren't going to change the uh, reps of Universe 7 leader skill because that's already way too good, right? Like some people thought it was going to be like 180%, 190%, 200%. I was like, there's no way. They're not touching that leader skill, but they will give tech types a little bit more of a boost. I think I said either 100% or 120%. So they went with 120%, which is great because, uh, of course, on their team, their best linking partner is actually, or at least their best like supporter is actually Tech Tian, who isn't in the reps of Universe 7 category, but is a tech type. So uh, the Tian will now get a bigger boost on that team. And uh, yeah, for the super attack, I said they got to give them a little bit more defense, right? So raising defense for one turn is what I said in the video, and that happened. And then for the passive, I was like, they can't give them more attack, 
Okay, that 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 can't happen because they already hit so damn hard, and they're already gonna get five more super attack levels, right? So that's already gonna increase their attack. So um, there's no need to give them more attack on the passive. So thankfully. They didn't, because I just think that would have been way too broken. I'm all for, like, crazy damage. I'm all for, you know, crazy numbers. But when these guys are already busting out, like, 10 million attack, up to, you know, 10 million attack on the first turn, uh, I don't think they need more attack, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm glad they didn't give them more attack, but they did give them more defense, right? So now you know, they're not going to get hit as hard, because defense was definitely an issue with this unit. As much as, as like, as hard as they hit, um, they also sometimes took, you know, as much damage back, right? Which was a problem in some of the harder events in the game. Um, and then the key, of course, is also huge. I mean, if, if you're running them with, like, an orb changer, like Tien, it wasn't a big problem, but if you didn't have the Tien or another orb changer on the team, like uh, the 18, for example, then sometimes you wouldn't be able to get that 18 key super and you would be uh, missing out on a lot of attack, right? So the fact that they can get up to 7 key now and essentially start with like, um, essentially basically start with like a 12 key super. So all you need is like a couple of orbs uh, to get that 18 key is going to be awesome, right? So um, yeah, this EZA is pretty much exactly what I expected and it's crazy good, man. It's crazy, crazy good. Uh, 25 super attack levels. Um, you know, more defense, better leader skill. Uh, we couldn't really have asked for more. I know some of you guys probably wanted to see more attack, but trust me, they will do more damage. They will hit. hit they will hit harder um, after the ECA just because of the super attack increase. And. You know, now they're tankier, which is going to be great for these harder events. I mean, events are getting harder and harder. I haven't really had a lot of experience with it myself, but a lot of people have told me that the, uh, you know, God of Destruction event is, like, super freaking hard. So maybe now these guys will be a little bit more viable for that event. I'm not really sure, but, you know, it, it's good. It's good that uh, they can take more hits now. So... Yeah, that's, I guess that's all I gotta say in this video, man. Those are the details for the Goku and Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. It's gonna take me a while. It's gonna take me a while to, to get used to saying that without just, you know, blowing my mind. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about the EZA, what you guys think about the details and everything. Were you expecting a different leader skill? Were you expecting a different passive? Or is this pretty much exactly what you expected. As I said, man, this is what I think makes sense. You know, like they can't give them more attack, but the defense stuff is great on the super attack and the passive and to allowing them, you know, more conditions to get this additional attack, which makes a huge difference. Like this, this thing is what makes them, um, you know, be the hardest hitting unit in the game, right? So the fact that they have more conditions now, it's attack down and defense down and stunned and sealed um, is awesome, right? So. That's all I gotta say, man. That is LR Goku and Frieza's Easy A coming soon to the JP side of the game for part three of the anniversary, which should be starting in about two days from now. And uh, it is gonna be a traditional Extreme Z battle, as far as I'm aware. So, first 30 levels, get all the stones, get all the medals. Um, and yeah, you can Extreme Z awaken them. Now, I'm not really sure what the uh, difficulty of this event's gonna be. I'm kind of hoping. That's a little bit more challenging just to fit the LR Extreme Z Awakening and the fact that it's such a good LR, right? So uh, we'll have to see, man. I mean, I think logically it should be a little bit more difficult, but maybe they'll just make it the same as like the 120s. And, and you know, that's not bad either, right? It's a little bit more accessible to people in that sense, but uh, we'll have to see. I do expect a little bit more of a challenging Extreme Z battle for sure for these guys specifically. And uh, yeah, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and uh, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger. Uppercut Media, signing out.